Hey everybody, the number one question I seem to get a lot on the forums and uh, some questions on my on my uh, channel as well is how to set up a Fear the Night server. So I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step on how to get this done. The first thing you want to do is go down to the uh, type in the search if you're win running Windows 10 and type in ipconfig and you'll uh, actually see it here on the screen at the top at your at the prompt type in IP config and you'll come up with another screen or a bunch of information and what you're looking for is the default gateway the default gateway you'll be presented with a series of numbers I've blanked out mine because I don't want anybody to know um, some personal information or even possibly get into my computer so anyways the default gateway you'll be presented with a series of numbers um, like one dot 905.371.0 or dot one or dot five whatever you want to write that down and then uh, once you have that written down you can close this box off completely and move on to the next step the next step is actually very easy um, <clears throat> you just bring up your red web browser and that number that you wrote down where, where the red circle is where the uh, um, address bar is you just type that in and when you type that in, you will be presented with this screen. Now this screen here, um, this is my login for uh, my router. And uh, this is where things get a little bit dicey. And what I mean by dicey is uh, not every internet service provider is the same. Um, what you need to do is you need to log in your admin name and the password. And some internet, provider, internet providers, they will write this at the bottom of the router or on the back or side or something like that if you have a store-bought router it it might be written on the back or side as well or it might be in the documentation or on the box itself um, if it is a rented server like mine or a rented router i should say is mine what you need to do is write in the defaults um, the default for my particular one, and it might work for yours as well, is admin login is admin, password is password. Um, I've changed mine, obviously, but the, the default, if you've never logged in before, the default might be admin and the password might be password. Um, it just all depends. Um, but once you log in, you can change that like I have so that, um, again, nobody can log into your router. Um, try doing that first if not then you might have to call your internet service provider and they can give you the information that you need to log into your router but once all that is in you proceed to the next step now once you've logged in what you want to do is click on port forwarding or in my case it's called virtual servers port forwarding and uh, you give first you give it a description uh, i gave mine ftn fear the night um, the port or inbound ports that you want to put in is 27015 to 27030. And the format I set to both um, because I didn't know if it uh, which one it took, but both is a safe bet and it works in this case. Um, then the local port, you just make it the same. 27015 to 27030. And uh, once those are in, you just uh, add virtual server or save whatever it is on your router. And then you proceed to port triggers. Now the port triggers configuration, basically all you're doing is you're entering the same information that you did before. You're entering the same port range, which is 27015 and to 27030. And you keep the UDP, uh, or I should say the uh, port range uh, on both, and you re enter in the next one as 27015 and 27030. Uh, and then you click save with that as well. It looks identical. You need the port triggers for so that the ports trigger for your friends. And those that port range is actually uh, Val's uh, matchmaking. So it's very important that those are in. Once you have those in, all you do is hit save or add 
like I said, it depends on your router. This is what I mean by a little bit sketchy because not and not every router is exactly the same. So you're going to have to fart around with it a little bit to uh, make sure all this information is incorrect because every uh, every router has different names for things. Like mine's through firewall port forwarding. Some uh, routers are just says port forwarding and port triggers. But the triggers and the port forwarding part is the most vital to get uh, multiplayer working for this game but once you have all that in just save you're done and all you have to do is click off the browser now once you have the game started and running what you want to do is click right here on the land now I'll explain all the server password and all that but you want that blank to begin with all right have your friends standing by ready to join and having have them at the end but first just hit accept and get the game fired up and running because it takes a while. And this is where a lot of people uh, give up is once they hit accept. But have all that blank for the very first startup of your server, okay? So just click on that, leave it all blank, and uh, I'm leaving mine up as, as password protected because I have it at a certain point. Now this point, this part here takes the longest, and this is where a lot of people give up. Because this can take, depending on how fast your CPU is, can take anywhere between five to seven minutes or longer. And they think that it's stalled or frozen or, or something, but it, it's not. The server is setting up, just let this run, have your friends stand by. Now, when it comes to the password thing, you want to leave that blank for the very first time. So when it ends up happening, if you have a password in there, when the server actually starts, your friends can't join. Your, your server disappears from the server list, okay? So what you want, you want to have it public for the first time, which means blank everything. When your server actually starts, you just tell them over Discord or TeamSpeak, whatever you're using, um, and just tell them, okay, the server's up. And what they want to do is they want to add it to their favorites. Once it's in their favorites, um, what you do is you shut the server down and all you have to do to do that is you go up to that dialog box and you hit the X at the top and that shuts the server down. Then you have to restart the server again the same way, put the passwords in like you saw that I had mine. I had mine called Odin. Um, when you go through this process again and it's password protected, they will be able to join um, from your friends list or it's not from the friends list, from the... Uh, uh, the land uh, favorites, sorry, favorites, and they, your server will appear there because it's already in their favorites. So as you can see there, um, the world is set up, so now the server is actually starting at this point. Um, anyways, what I was saying before, uh, once it's password protected, they'll be able to join. They just enter the password in, and that's it. it they can join the game. And, uh, but right now, this part here takes the longest. I'm gonna leave the entire, the whole thing in, in its entirety. So you can see exactly how long it will take to get this server up and running. Like I said, it takes a long time. So you just have to stand by, be patient and wait. And uh, I'll be right back. You can fast forward a little bit just to get, um, to get to the point where it actually did start. But uh, I wanted to leave it in just to show how long it actually takes.
Okay, there you see it. It says that uh, the server has started. You want to wait until everything fills in and um, number of cores and, and it'll say that, um, well, my server anyways has started successfully. But when you want to quit the server at the very end, when you're done playing, you exit the game, you want to click right there. That's what you want to hit. That shuts the server down, saves progress. So go down the taskbar, bring up the game again, hit refresh, and there it is. You just click on it and then join, and then type in your password that you set for the server. And uh, of course hit accept, and then that's it. You're joining the server. Now, as you can see through from my previous, um, at the beginning there, I had like screenshots. It's just made it easier for me to, to blank out uh, personal information and things that I didn't want everybody to know. Um, but this is it. This is how you start the game. This is how you can host a, a multiplayer game on your on your on your rig. Now, everybody's saying, I have really good internet. I have like say one gig speed. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how fast your internet really is. It matters how fast your CPU is. So you can have the fastest internet in the world. It just really man man it just ma a matter of how many connections your CPU can handle. Like uh, I run an i5-4440, and I know what you're going to say, hey, that's an old CPU. Uh, yeah, it is, but it's a fast one. It runs, I think the average is between 1.3, 1.2 gigahertz. Um, so it's actually faster than a lot of the earlier 9.7s, or the i7s, yeah. So anyways, that's how you get the server running. That's how everything is done. And then from there, your friends can join, enter in the password, and they're in-game. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video on uh, how to set up your own server and host your own game. Thank you for watching.